Hi again. So this is the continuation of the growing up in grime. I know it's kind of uh, seems a bit grimy, but that's the way I was brought up. So the second video is basically, um, you know, why, uh, why grime? Like, why did you throw your hat into grime? Um, it's 2004, really, when I first started hearing JME. 2004 was the biggest time in my life when I was starting to have a crisis in my life. Um, I'd just broken up with my girlfriend. Um, and she was uh, Nigerian. She was from Ghana, actually. And uh, she was from Ghana, and I loved her, and we broke up. And uh, she'll tell you how much of a monster I am. And I started, uh, all of a sudden, I started hearing this kind of like... Uh, Kind of tweeting, kind of was like, what's that? It's like, hmm, that's a really good beat. What's that? JME. It's like JME. It's like really nice, fresh. Started listening to Skepta and started listening to um, the rest of them. My name is Jamie. Only my grandmother called me Jamie. Only my grandmother was allowed to call me Jamie. Other people tried to call me Jamie. Um, if they did, it's disrespectful. Only my grandmother ever called me Jamie. Uh, only my, oh, I only ever allowed my grandmother to call me Jamie. Everybody else was no. They may have felt like they had the right to call me Jamie, but they didn't. I never gave that right to anybody except my grandmother. Even my mother called me just James. Or Jay. Until I transitioned, and then everybody started calling me Natalie. And my mother called me Natalie because she respects me. And most people just call me Natalie or Nat. And people ask me why. Why Natalie? And I'm going to tell you why now, now. Because I lost all respect for myself as Jamie. Growing up. I was six and seven years old when the abuse started happening sexually and I felt like Jamie was a time in my life that I, uh, and, uh, I wanted to forget. And uh, if I got rid of the name, I suppose, the, the memories would go with it. That's not strictly true, but it's how, actually, when my grandfather said to me, oh, would you like to be called James now instead? And I said, okay, yeah. So we can be... Carry on being called Jamie if you want. And I said, no, I'll be called James from now on. I wonder if that was something like growing up, basically. You've just been through this nightmarish abuse. You want to grow up and the grown-up name is James. And so Jamie had some really negative connotations for me for a, a decade or so. Until about 2004 when JME came back. And JME brought respect back to that name for me. That's why I love him. Because while my life was falling apart, he was basically writing about it. When he wrote a lyric, oh, you'll never see a day that Jamie quitted. You'll more likely see me committed in a two-year relationship committed to one of these dumb, dumb female shitters. Uh, or locked up in a mental institute committed. <laughs> Doing bare things with both wrists slid, and um, the first, you know, the, the, this this one was an accident. This one wasn't an accident, but he brought respect to the name again, Jamie, and I was like, "Thank you, Jamie." Um, why Natalie in my transition was because um, four twenty boys. Ed, when my mum was obviously having me, she was pregnant with me. She had the choice of calling me a boy's and girl, boy girl's name. If I was going to be a boy, a boy, she was going to call me Jamie or James or Daniel or Peter. And if I was going to be born a girl, she was going to call me Natalie. Uh, or Jane. Um, and I think there was another name she was going to call me possibly, but we never discussed that actually. 
very in-depthly, because when it came to choosing my name, uh, I said, I want to be called Natalie. And she said, I was going to call you Natalie. And I was like, there you go. I know my own name. She's like, yeah. And when Jamie started to drop, I was like, thank you, Jamie, because I don't feel like I could be Jamie anymore for my mother. And that was what was breaking my heart because I want, I, I want, I've been spending my whole life becoming Natalie. It's a difficult process. Like, becoming Skepta was a difficult process with setbacks. No one wants to see... You don't want to see me switch and turn back into Scotty. With the scores and the shotty. And just singing just like Pavarotti. I love job, but I ain't got Gotti. I love job, but I ain't got Gotti. What you can't do. If you don't like me, don't chat to me. Becoming Natalie's been a lifetime for me. And when I felt like transitioned that I'd be disrespecting my mother that was my biggest concern <laughs> and JME everything he chats is about don't disrespect my mum don't disrespect my mum I was like thank you thank you so much for being Jamie in my music for my mum like in my way that name got uh, sanctified in my mind in my uh, world that he Preserve the name Jamie and in doing so my mother's honour as well in that and you can never take that away from him in his career for what he does as a musician for his mother and all of it and it's Stormzy as well you know his recent track you know where do you know me from where do you know me from where 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 do you know me from you know you can't talk about my mum fuck off and uh I just I've broken that woman's heart over the years through my transition, wanting to not necessarily be, you know, different. It's just like the way that I've been trying, you know, like it's it's been a, it's been a struggle, it's been a journey. It doesn't stop. I mean, I spoke to someone the other day, and I said oh, I I do sometimes wish it had been a more sh a straighter path, more straightforward path. But, you know, every obstacle I overcome is another another obstacle I overcome in becoming me. And one of the weights off of my mind is knowing that in my heart, in my in, in, in the vibration of the music and the universe, that healing is there with, with, with Jamie and Skepta of, like, the kings and the lions and the music and the truth of, like, growing up, how difficult growing up in music is, in life, um, being different. Being intelligent, being smart, people wanting to tear you down, people wanting to take uh, you over and destroy your reputation and who you are and all of that, overcoming all of it. Because I felt like I didn't, wasn't capable of doing any of that for my mum, becoming Natalie. I just felt like I was just letting her down. And um, then uh, in, my, in my sort of own way, um, I realised uh, that's why I kind of uh, became part of. I was never part of the grime scene, but you know, if any, if you asked anybody, and if you looked at my music, it's it's only grime. It's only like three or four artists that I really follow, but it's mainly just grime, and it has been since you know I was young. And even in growing up, you know, I, I grew up in jungle, garage and stuff like that. It's in, it's, it's in me. The music's in me. And of course, the last lyric of obviously, I'm going to leave it with this, a devil man saying to Skepta, why are you hanging out with those transsexuals and bias? Because Skepta knows that music is universal. That's why he went NASA. Elon Musk. All the way to Mars, yeah? And devil man is grounded. Because Skept is the kind of person who I will go and I will see him on stage and I'll buy a ticket and I'll buy his album. And I know if I saw him, he'd go, enough respect. And he would say, yo. And he would go, yo. He wouldn't say, fuck off or anything like that. So that's why he went that right. Anyway, I'm going to leave that video here because it's 10 minutes. Uh, part three should be soon.